Caspa has hit a bottom. At least there's some metrics that are telling us, including this one right here. This is from CoinGlass. This is the RSI heat map. And as you can see on the bottom left, on the 24 hour, Caspa is currently teetering on the oversold territory. Now, typically when uh, prices and coins dip to this oversold territory, they do tend to rise back up, but it's not just the RSI that is telling us that Caspa potentially has bottom, but there's charts telling us as well. We'll get into the charts a little bit later. We're going to talk about some big mining news for Caspa. We're going to speak a little bit more about ecosystem. What are some meme coins on Caspa or ecosystem tokens that I'm bullish on? And also why one exchange continues to go all in on Caspa and the ecosystem and what you can do to help support it. So like the video and let's get started. Um, now, I did mention uh, some mining news. Here you go. NiceHash introduces first ASIC firmware for Caspa miners with up to a 20% boost. Now, just so you guys understand, NiceHash has been a Bitcoin only company, a software company. And now they are, seems like they are teetering into the Caspa ecosystem. Nice has the marketplace for Bitcoin hashing power has unveiled the inaugural firmware tailored specifically for mining on the Caspa network. This specialized Caspa software can potentially boost ASIC performance by as much as 20%. So I know some of you watching, some people are community, big Caspa fans. They mine a lot of Caspa, so this might be something that you want to pay attention to. It enhances efficiency by reducing power usage while boosting hash rate. Smart thermal protection, on the other hand, safeguards devices from excessive heat buildup. The firmware is compatible with the Antminer KS5 Pro, KS5, KS3, and the KS3 8.3 terahertz models. Uh, now, one more thing that NiceHash put on their X post is, uh, is this. Caspa is the fastest proof-of-work coin using BlockDAG for rapid block rates and better decentralization. Its K-heavy hash algorithm is energy efficient and perfect for ASIC miners. Launched with no pre-mine, Caspa is 100% decentralized and community-driven. Maximize your earnings with nice hashes, Caspa mining pool. Very interesting to see. Uh, people are, are starting to wake up to Caspa, why it's so unique and what it could potentially do. First, we had Marathon Digital, who only mined Bitcoin, come out and say, hey, we've been mining Caspa for a year because we make more money mining Caspa than we do mining Bitcoin. Why is that so important? As the hash rate grows, and network becomes more secure. Costs more money and more resources to do a 51% attack on the network. So these are all positive things. And now with NiceHash's software integration, you can boost up your, uh, your, your uh, mining rewards by up to, or your efficiency by up to 20%. Uh, and so this is something you should look into if you are mining Caspa. Now, I do want to shift gears from Caspa mining on the mainnet to a little bit about the ecosystem. Something cool here. So CoinGecko, uh, one of the leading information aggregators for crypto, uh, unless this has been around for a while, I just saw it uh, the last couple of days, but they have a section for the Caspa ecosystem. So pretty interesting. Uh, why is this important? Well, it's all about visibility, right? Visibility, brand recognition. Obviously, they only have two coins up here, Dog K and Caspa. Uh, but we all know, especially if you're watching, that Caspa has got a pretty big KRC ecosystem, right? We take a look at some of the top ones. Now, last week, when we showed this, uh, Nacho was around 30 million market cap. So if you got some exposure to Nacho, uh, you would have almost doubled your money. Currently number one in the Caspa ecosystem, sitting at 55.9 million dollars in market cap. They've been around for six months with a total holder, holder count approaching 16,000 holders. So big shout out to the Nacho team. Also, we have some big news on Nacho that we're going to share with you. They're already getting exchange listings, which is pretty awesome. We'll share with that. We'll share that with you in a minute. I do want to share how cool this website is, though. If you guys haven't seen it, it's KAS.FYI. You click on the token and you can click on holders. And you can see just how decentralized the holdings are. Uh, the top wallet holds 4%. I believe this is a exchange wallet. We have one over 1% and everything else is under 1%. Now, why is this important? It's less risk of massive whales dumping on retail, right? So it's more retail friendly. You can tell your friends, family, hey, this is meme coin on Nacho or on Caspa. It's called Nacho. If you guys want to get in, of course, there's meme coins always have 50, 60, 70% corrections, but a lot less likely when you have a distribution like this one right in front of you on your screen, 
versus 5% holdings, 3% holdings, 6% holdings. As the coin grows through 100, 200, a billion dollar market cap, you see a lot of whales start to dump in massive chunks, bringing the price down and essentially wrecking the retail investors. Another one, so that's one I'm bullish on. I believe uh, this could be, so there's two coins I think could reach potentially, obviously in the future as the Casp ecosystem grows, that 100 million, even a billion market cap. The first one is Nacho. The second one I have my eye on. Uh, this was actually the first community token that was launched on Caspa, and there's none other than the mascot of Ghost Egg, which is Casper. Uh, this one's currently sitting at a sub $10 million market cap with a holder count of 7,000. So that's pretty good. You take a look at the holders. Uh, this large 10.8%, this is the new exchange that listed them. This is their wallet. And then you see something very similar to what you saw with Nacho. Less than 1% outside of the top two wallets, less than 1% of the rest of the wallets hold. And so same idea here. And uh, you take a look at their their uh, X post or their X handle. You want to take a look. Hey, are these guys active? Are they trying to reach out to the community? Are they trying to onboard new users? As you can see here, the first community token on KRC, fully minted and fair launched. Uh, they did get a listing on XT.com. That is this wallet right here, the 10.8%. But you know what's interesting is, obviously, if you've been following our channel, you know we put out a lot of Casper content. And the team from Casper reached out to us and said, hey, we would love for you to just talk about our token. Just give your honest thoughts on the token. Typically, when tokens reach out, they say, hey, we want to pay you money. We want you to say this, this, and this. We want you to say how bullish you are. These guys reached out and say, hey, can you just give us some exposure? Just talk about it, whatever you want to talk about. No guidelines. And so we are more than happy to bring attention to the Casper ecosystem. So big shout out to the Casper team. Again, currently sitting at, if we go back here, currently sitting at on the KRC. By the way, you guys should go to this website, kas.fyi. You can see everything on here from emission schedules, top addresses, and all the KRC20 tokens. At a $7 million market cap with 7,000 holders, um, once retail gets in and more people get onboarded into the Casper ecosystem, I think Casper could be the second uh, second front. So I think Nacho and Casper could really, again, get to that 100, 200 million, even $1 billion market cap. And you're looking at a project that's sitting at 7 million. You're looking at Nacho that's sitting at 56 million. Even if it gets a 10X to a $560 million market cap, we know ETH has multiple billion dollar plus meme coins. We know Solana has multiple billion dollar plus meme coins. Unless you don't think Casper's ecosystem can get as large not saying the next year, but to get as large or compete with the likes of Solana, of Ethereum, of Avalanche, uh, then sure. But if you do, you want to get some positions into these community tokens. We've seen throughout the entire cycle, meme coins and community-driven projects are what really run the market. That is re what retail is driven to. And we believe that Casper and Nacho are two of the ones that we're super bullish on. Let us know if you're bullish on either Casper or Nacho. In the comments section. Now, I did mention some big news for Nacho as they have officially gotten a centralized exchange listing. Uh, Nacho is now live for trading on Pionex Global. The moment we've all been waiting for is here. The hottest KRC20 token in the game has landed on one of the most innovative exchanges out there. Now, this is available on Pionex Global. I'm hearing that is also going to be available on their U.S. regulated exchange, Pionex.us. Uh, we've shown Pionex.us, they've seemingly gone all in on not just Caspa, but the Caspa ecosystem. And so I believe truly that Pionex will be the go-to centralized exchange to onboard people into not just Caspa, but for the Caspa ecosystem. We mentioned last week, I showed you guys their Caspa grid trading strategies here on Pionex.us. Uh, the seven-day grid strategies br has brought people 51% in gains, and that infinity grid 30-day strategy has brought around 18.4%. Now, one thing I do want to mention, they have a lot of bots here, which is pretty cool, but the one that I really want to talk about today is the trailing buy bot. Now, this is a bot you can create. You can use parameters already set in place. You set up your account, and essentially, you can give it parameters to, hey, when it dips X amount percent, I want you to start buying and then buy on the rebound or buy on the way down as well. And it essentially DCAs on the way down. And so if you're looking for ways to grow your Caspa bag and you just don't have the time to sit there and look at the candles 
or put 20 different indicators on your charts, you can use something like the trailing buy bot on Pionex.us and be able to create it yourself, set it and forget it, and earn more money in Casper. Also, Pionex is excited to announce for all of us here in the Sin City crypto community. They know we love Casper. They know you love Casper. They're giving away a free $10 for all the new users that are signing up. You deposit $100. You get a free $10. That link will be pinned to the comment section and in the description of this video. I'm always in the camp, guys, of the people that support your ecosystem. We should just support them back. Now, this is a uh, an exchange that typically exchanges, they do charge money to list tokens. From my understanding, the Caspa team does not pay for any exchange listings. So this is something Pionex decided. We are, I've identified Caspa as a growing ecosystem. We decided to go all in and on, not just listing Caspa, the mainnet token, but also listing some of their ecosystem tokens as well. So big shout out to Pionex. We're proud to have them as a sponsor of the Sin City Crypto channel. Now, I did mention earlier, Caspa is currently oversold, right? All things rebound to the median. We take a look at Caspa on the daily. Now, these are levels that I plotted out for over the last month and a half to two months. And this blue line here, this trend line or this support line is right around that 13 cent level, that 12.93 cent level. We're currently sitting at 13.27 cents. Something interesting we're seeing though, as I expand out this liquidity flow index, you can see we're seeing a divergence between money flowing in and what price has been doing. We're seeing volume has been trickling down but money has been flowing in overwhelmingly. Over 95% of inflows of flows have been into the ecosystem, into Caspa, but price has continued to decline. Something is bound to give, and it doesn't look like the money inflows are about to stop anytime soon. Also, a key level here, that 13 cent level, Caspa did rebound off this level, failing to close. It did wick below it, but you want to take a look at the closes. And from its close at that 12.9 cent level, Casper rallied around 9%. We are currently approaching that level again. Casper has been trending down since reaching a local high of around 17.6 cents. But if you believe in the Casper ecosystem like we do, we know this thing is going to reverse. Casper has been one of the top performers in the entire top 100 throughout this last six months. And we believe that trend is going to continue. What a better time to get into Caspa than now at 13 cents when we believe Caspa can get to that two to three dollar level in 2025 and beyond. If you enjoy the content, if you like more Caspa, we have a Caspa playlist to the words the top of our homepage. Click that, watch all of our Caspa videos, and also support the people that support us. Create a Pionex.us account. It's the only US regulated exchange that has listed Caspa. So big shout out to them. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.